guys, what is up? I am going to be showing you how to do another tutorial today. And this time, it's going to be a little bit complicated. Because today, cancel that. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, something like Brezza does in his game. This. Do you know how Brezza like makes, like with his, uh, basically you want to know that outline around it. I'm basically gonna be showing you guys how to do that because there's been a lot of, I, it, it was hard for me to figure out myself, like put an image in here, but really what you want to do is you want to go, uh, obviously you want to insert a screen GUI, you want to insert a frame, you can just like take that frame and just like put it up there and just clear it, and that. So, you don't have to copy me, but you want to make a button or you don't want really want it to be a button. You want it to look like have a rounded edge button. So you're gonna come down to style right here and you're gonna choose row. You're gonna go down to custom. You're gonna go all the way down to this. This is gonna make it so it rounds it out, makes it nice and smooth. Then you're probably gonna want to put an image label in a minute to make it look like it's got that zazz that you want it to. So now, what you want to do is you probably want to make a, an image inside of it. So I'm currently trying to put this inside of it, um, and I will show you guys actually how to make this here. So let's zoom in like 200%. So now, what you want to do is you want to get a clean slate. And Photoshop and you're gonna want to make it I'm gonna show you you can make it however you want really um I just want you want to be able to make sure it looks correctly inside inside of the GUI so what I'm doing right now is I am trying to make myself a really cool uh, background so I'll be I'll do it just I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to install this stuff into Photoshop so you're gonna want to hit so I'll be doing that soon. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna uh, text key, you're gonna wanna use RK, which I'll put the file in the description below so you guys can use it. And what you're gonna wanna do is you'll have to type, you can type whatever you want. So I'm actually gonna type Apex. And I'm gonna move this around, I'm gonna scale it. Whoa. I'm gonna scale it to this, so it locks on with the size of this. Now what I'm now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm going to uh, you can find whatever background you want. Um, I'm gonna open a file. Um, I'll put I'll put a link to this background too if you want it down if you want this background too in the description. Now the first thing you want to do is you, you're gonna wanna take, you want to find the image size. So, so this is 395. You wanna go in here, you wanna go in image, and you wanna go to image size. Change this to 395, or whatever size it was on your, on your image. Do that, and 95%. And if we select all, you can copy and paste. And now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna uh, you want to click on right click on that and create clipping mask. So now you can like change it for the for behind behind it and stuff. It looks decent. Let me see. I'm back again so this looks actually looks pretty cool so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to so now you want to hold shift click on both of those you're gonna want to where is it where is it oh merge layers so now this is a whole layer you expand it you can change it it's a whole good layer. So now that we have that, you're gonna wanna save as, 
you just name it Red BG. Now you're going to go into Roblox Studio. You're going to insert a image label. And the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to find the increments. So I'm gonna actually I'm actually gonna take this out. This is really annoying me. So you can take um the so you know it's like how big this is. You can take this. And please don't mind the dogs, they're super annoying. Um when it comes to this stuff. Um so yeah, then it kind of like changes that, changes it to look like that, but you can't really see it much. Um, so, but you really, but the main part you want to do is you really want to center. So this is actually a little bit too big. Now that we're got like this, we're gonna want to change this, try to change this, see what happens with change this to 370. Make it a little bit bigger, make it more like 380. Nah. How about 375? Yeah, that's good. So as you can see, we're trying to put this image in the middle of it. So now we have to center it. Here's the hard part. So um, I have no idea, literally, like on on centering this. So oh wait a second, it's already pretty much, pretty much centered, really. Mm -hmm. Just would have to move it down a little bit. I need to keep my that. Two hours later. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See, it's got that boundary. It's got an equal side boundary. So now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to here. You're going to want to hit add image. Choose file. And we're going to choose. We can find our red and. We put it in pictures. Here. Then it should load in like that, which it looks sort of decent, really. Background color, how about make that black? Whoa, that actually looks very sick. I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks pretty sick. So and then it's got this board around it, and when you when you move the whole text button, it follows it around. So yeah guys, that was our tutorial for today. I'm basically going to be putting my schedule for me my uploads, which is going to be on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Anytime usually on those days. And there might be one during between those times. Maybe depends on how my how, how my week is. So you can expect them on Wednesday and Saturday. So yeah guys, I'll see you guys later. And please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, tutorials, and gameplay videos. And I will see you guys later. This is Deal out.